Well, hello there and greetings to you. It's Matthew McDonald here with a quick video update for our instant VSL. Uh, there's been a couple of updates over the last few days and I did actually get a bunch of videos into the members area on the 1st of January, which ended up being a super busy day. I just want to show you, wrap up some of the updates that are available. And if you want to try captions, you can now with the new Instant VSL, you can actually create your custom captions. And if you want to get creative with your VSL, you might want to even try uh, using different text to what you're actually speaking. Now, not contradictive message, but you could be theming, you could be... Uh, probably not suggestive texting trying to do some kind of subliminal thing but you could you could use it for your uh, sales strategies now I did a copy and paste from the auto generated captions on on uh, YouTube and on my offer I actually had a substantial drop in conversions when I turned the captions on. Now, this could be a number of things. The first problem I think with it was that, uh, well, I have a little bit of an accent, so that when I actually read the captions, they're not all that accurate. So if you are doing a sales video, you might want to go through the captions and have a look that it actually reads, reads well. They were pretty good. Uh, but they weren't super accurate. The other thing is, depending on your style of video, it doesn't really surprise me that uh, if you have the captions there, people might feel like they don't actually have to play and listen to you. So they're losing that personal connection. And basically, whenever I get fancy with my videos and add extra sound effects and special video clips and maybe do something I've seen other people do, I, I straight away nearly always suffer a drop in sales conversion. And what I find the absolute best method to get conversions and to get double digit conversions on a sales page is just talking to somebody the way I would talk to a person. And when I actually got started on video, I would always think about a person that I know that the information I'm talking about would be relevant. Maybe I'll tell myself, listen, this person is in a little bit of a hurry. They've got 10 different things on their mind. So make it brief, use brevity, be clear, be super understanding, and then basically make sure you you, you cover why, why they are watching the video. They need to know why they are there, and then they need to know what do they need to do which is your call to action at the end. Now, uh, I might do some of that video. I've been doing this for a long time, so there might be some, some things that you can pick up as well and use in your videos. So let's get back to the update here. So uh, I even had an email today from one of the customers saying that the captions wasn't working. And I realized if you were doing a single line of caption, it wasn't working. So I've got that fixed in version 1.0.6. And so if you actually go and update your package, you'll have to refresh your browser. You might have to do it twice or you might even have to clear your browser cache because the browser is often running old JavaScript, and this is a JavaScript situation. So now you can see here, and you, you should try this. Try and undo a caption. So in your video settings, and if you don't know how to um, edit your video settings like this, then go and check out some of the new videos in the members area. We've got the caption option here, and then we've got the caption time at the top, and so here you have the the start time, hours, minutes, seconds, milliseconds, and then the height time, there's no gaps there. This is the same format that YouTube uses, so I, I prioritized on this format, but I did also build in the VTT format there. So here we've got the timestamp for showing the caption, and I've got it there starting immediately, and we can see the caption up here. And then we've got the text. So if we want to add the next caption, we would leave a, a space there and add that. Now I've also got a video in the members area where I actually go through and set up the YouTube captions. So if you want to get into captions, make sure you check out that video. 
So now with today's update version 1.0.6, you have support for single line captions, which was kind of a bug, but it's all sorted out now. Okay, uh, the other thing you might have noticed if you've updated your package, we have a brand new video player. Uh, this is kind of a third generation of my video players. It's really nice. It's really clean. It's quite similar to Vistia, but it's got some extra uh, nice features. And it's very clean. And the color is nice because you can match it to any theme or anything. Say if we actually go to the options here. Sorry, I'm jumping down a little bit. And we go to color palettes here. Just selecting one option and the whole player looks really nice like that so you can create some really nice players and i kind of have covered this in the members tutorials but when you actually first set up your instant vsl you do have the theme option so you can set your theme option so let's go something that i use quite often which is the orange and you can see now the player is orange and the button buy now button is orange as well and if we were to add a branding bar by default the branding bar will be orange as well so that's a nice little shortcut for you and then you can also um, set a custom brand bar option i do have a branding bar video as well in the members area and with these you can still override them with custom options so the black looks really nice as well so you've got a new video player with your instant vsl there's been some other uh, smaller fixes and improvements as well with how everything flows but what i'd recommend you to do is go into the members area check out uh, some of the videos there on the new updates and um, I'm looking forward to getting lots of feedback. It seems like a lot of people are liking this uh, product. So uh, we'll see how we go. So, hey, thank you so much for being a customer. Really great to have you on board. And I will see you on another video very soon. Cheers.